is it going? <laughs> Hi guys, it is Tuesday, April 9th already. Jeez, it's going fast. Um, and we still lived through the eclipse, so nothing happened last night either. Just wanted to stop by and show you my lunch. I told you that kebab thing is so good. This time I just left it flat. So um, here's the kebab thingy. The meat and the buffalo, um, red hot buffalo wing sauce and the sour cream is the best. So, but this is the last time I'll talk about it because this is the last of it. I saved the rest of it for my lunch today. Mm, it's so good. And then I had waffles for breakfast. I'm just really eating a lot today. Here I'm worried about my body dysmorphia. No, just kidding. I'm not gaining any weight, so I'm okay with it. It's just a weird thing to have. I just never thought, you know, you see these skinny, skinny people, and you're like, how do they think they're so big? But, oh well. Anyway, hope everybody's having a really good day. It looks really, really pretty outside. It's um, 12.15, so, so I told you this weekend, here in Colorado, a string of people didn't have electricity. Well, I feel really bad because my dad called me last night. And he's all, what are you doing? And I was telling him, blah, blah, blah. And then he goes, I go, what are you doing? He goes, well, I'm just getting warm. And I was like, oh, yeah. I go, wasn't that crazy when the um, when the eclipse came, you know, when it got kind of a little darker. It didn't get too dark here, but it got cold all of a sudden. He goes, yeah, but um, I didn't have any electricity this weekend. I was like, I totally forgot about him. Even though he could have called and said, hey, it's freezing here. I got to come. You know, or and he wouldn't have anyway. He's just that type. He'd rather be home alone. But anyway, it was really crazy because our electricity did not go out. And I mean, here where I live, like I said, you sneeze and it goes out. It did not go out 100 miles per, per hour winds and everything else. It didn't go out. So I was talking to my son today. I was, you know, texting him. And um, I go, oops, we forgot about grandpa. And he goes, oh my gosh. He goes, well, I have a generator I'll take up to him you know and hook it up and you know it'll last 24 hours I was like yeah and I kid you not right when we're texting my electricity in my house went out it was the craziest thing he goes huh grandma's messing with you now mind you my mom and dad got divorced that mom my mom and dad got divorced when I was six months old so you know it was kind of funny but yeah he goes yep grandma's messing with you because there's not it's not even barely blowing. There's not a wind in sight or anything. And right when we were talking about it, boom, my electricity goes out. So it was really funny. And I didn't think about it because when my husband goes to work or leaves for the day, I um, turn off the TV. Well, we were texting each other. And so I was kind of standing half in and half out of my bedroom. And you know how sometimes you turn off lights or turn them on and don't think about it. So I'm all texting and then the light went off. But I didn't have like the TV and the heater wasn't running. So it didn't go whoosh, like it usually does. But I kind of look up and I was like, oh, I turned off the light, not thinking about it. So then I came into the kitchen and I went over to something and I noticed the um, light on the stove and the microwave were off. And I was like, oh, our electricity went off. So it was really funny. But anyway, yep. And then I go into the living room and I think I told you guys Sunday night, my husband comes in and says, where was your camper? This little thing that I have hanging up, I go, it was on the mantle, and it fell to the floor, and the hook wasn't. It was, like, turned a little bit, to, but not to where it was, should have come off. So, we have somebody in here seeing us, but that's okay. I go, did it scare you? And I didn't mean scare you because somebody's here. Scare you because when something, bang, you know, falls or something, it scares me to death. Not that I'm scared that somebody's here, but there's the boom, you know. But anyway... So that's been my story today. Um, I'm going to make shepherd's pie for dinner, I think. Oh, no, we're having leftover pizza. I don't have to cook tonight. Yay! Yeah, we're going to try to get our pizza eaten. But anyway, I hope everybody has a good Tuesday. Um, nothing much to say for today. Like I said, it's really pretty out today. I'm getting ready for the summerish weather to come. I think I'm going to go online and look for a job. I haven't heard back from the other one. Like I said, I, I don't know. I just don't know if I can work seven days on, seven days off. And I think being 55, that might be hard on me. And I know people are going, oh, you're a weenie, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, I don't know. I used to be able to do that when I was younger because in the business that I was in, you know, in assisted living, you know, you have to do it a lot. But if I don't have to have to have to, 
then I don't know if I really want to, especially seven days on and then seven days off. So I'll have to see, have to pray about it and think about it. You know, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. And like my kids and my husband, everybody says, take each step. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. So I got my resume in, so I haven't heard back. If I hear back, then I'll take the next step. But if the next step happens, then I'll go to the next step. And, you know, if you're supposed to do something or be somewhere, you're going to be there, right? So we'll see. But I think I'll go online and look up a couple of things. Um, I don't know. I don't really want a full-time job, but I can't sit around here no more. So anyway, well, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm going to go finish my kebab gyro or steak on a nan bread, whatever you call it. So... Have a great day, guys. And I might be back tonight. I may not. Who knows? Bye.